The 2019-2020 school year is now complete, but the ending was like none other in the history of School City of Mishawaka. Students and teachers finished the last 10 weeks of school at home due to the coronavirus pandemic. When I look back, I think how quickly things changed early on. You know, I, I think it was March 13th, Friday the 13th, that uh, was our last student day. Starting so suddenly when we didn't really have any plans in place, we expected a two-week closure and then suddenly, no, it's going to be a month. Oh no, it's going to be the rest of the school year. The things that we had to do and react to uh, were seemed to be coming very, very fast. So the priorities early on, as you can imagine, were just to get us in a position where we could connect teachers and students in the short term. So we really focused on engagement um, and making sure that there were clear uh, systems and directions for teachers and students and families. At times it was a, a, a struggle just to, to get them in the hang of, you know, getting used to doing that every day. But after a while we got in the hang of it and, you know, we just put it on a tablet and we went on to work with it. And work with it they did. Parents became partners with teachers in their child's remote learning, and teachers developed systems to meet the individual needs of their students. And suddenly having to like get on the horn with my uh, grade level team and just figure out like what will this look like? How can we work together to make sure that our kids are getting equal access to their math and reading lessons? Because let's be real, like Ms. Shawaka doesn't have one-to-one -one devices, so that can be a boundary, and we just had to get creative with how we address those issues. Once I got into the swing of it, and okay, these are the assignments, and, and this is the homework, and this is the lessons. Uh, you, you take it for granted, but you know, being there in the classroom with the teacher right across from you, it's just a whole different feeling and a whole different understanding than staring at a computer screen. For our teachers, it was incredibly challenging for them not to be able to have access to their kids and to support them in the ways that they were used to. But it was also, you could see that from teacher to teacher, um, from admin to teacher, um, from admin to support staff. I think you saw each and every person within the organization realize how much we value, rely on, appreciate um, each other. While remote learning was a tough transition for teachers, for Mishawaka school families, it meant changes in their daily routines. We were like behind a couple of days because I worked still full time. So we were kind of behind, but um, I got in touch with his teacher is Miss Cook. I got in touch with her because he's in kindergarten. And um, she said, you just, you know, work at your own pace. And once you get it in, you just send me, you know, send like photos of the worksheets that he had to do. And she was like, and I'll accept them whenever you send them to us anytime. So. She was always available for us. I was actually uh, having to work remotely myself, so, um, you know, kind of juggling doing my own remote work, plus like, you know, on my lunch break, go and uh, help her do some, some remote stuff. So it was, a, <laughs> it was an interesting thing to, to kind of juggle. In the end, students, parents, and teachers found ways to stay connected through this unprecedented time. And that was the most important lesson for everyone. I also Zoomed with my students um, once a week just to touch base with them, to make sure if they had any questions. I had one student that would actually work on his homework while we were chatting, and if he had any questions, I, could, I did it on a whiteboard, showed him on the screen, and then that way he could work through the problem. Oh, yeah, yeah, I get it, I understand. I thought remote learning was an awesome opportunity for our students given the circumstances that we have. Um, we had really good luck in our fifth grade. Our fifth graders were uh, very part uh, were participating very well. Um, we were able to get work turned in via email um, or through Class Dojo, and um, we had great success. I mean, it, it was certainly a challenge, I'll tell you that, but I I know personally I had probably one of my better semesters that I've that I've ever had and it was in part due to these teachers putting in work and teachers like Miss Foley who went through the extra mile to give you the extra video or if you emailed her, you know, she went through every step of everything. And my other teachers were, you know, right online to do that. So I mean a huge help for me. I felt like the amount of work that they gave me or the I'm sorry that they gave him was um 
it was very doable. It wasn't, it didn't feel overwhelming. You know, I heard a lot of horror stories about people who were doing e-learning for hours and hours a night, and we, de we, we never felt that, um, that kind of pressure. Um, so it went really well. We really enjoyed it. And human connection plays a vital role in developing our students. You think about these parades um, that many of our buildings held, watching the faces of those students when they finally saw their teachers after you know several weeks of not being with them, and the sheer joy on their faces is probably my favorite moment of remote learning. But also watching the teacher faces, you know, just to know that their kids were okay, and um, the love and compassion that they have for those kids and those families too. I think that was kind of a theme that ran throughout all of it, was that it was about the people and those relationships that we have. And I would just like to thank our families. You know, they've given, a, they put a lot of trust in us uh, to educate their students and uh, to, to be a partner to them and how they raise their own children. So uh, we don't take that lightly and, and I'm, I'm appreciative of, of that fact. This is a, a great community of, of uh, we, have, we have a lot of support here at School City of Mishawaka to support the children that we serve and, and for that I'm very grateful. Parker Norris, Mishawaka Network.